we didn't know we was going to be here. I mean, my mom always told me that I was going to be something, but I didn't know it was going to be this big. Yesterday we played Seattle at 3 p.m. Pacific time, which is probably 6 p.m. Eastern time. After that, hopped on a red eye, came to Miami, landed this morning at 7 a.m. Ruby, are you Eric Lewis? Shut up. Slam was waiting on me. One of my Adidas reps, Mel, was waiting on me at the airport. Hopped in the Sprinter, came back to the hotel, took a nap, got some breakfast. And the day just started. Time to go to sleep. Eat and go to sleep. Hi, Mel. Are you recruiting right now? I'm on my way to the gym. So, what skill set are you looking for in order to find the next Erica Wheeler? Honestly, I don't like Erica Wheelers. What? That's what like that's the conversation we have. She don't like Erica Wheelers. Mm -hmm. She don't like I do not. stylish. I got a little bit more skill and not out of control. Whoa! So you basically saying I'm out of control? Probably back in the day. Oh, back in the day. We talking about right now? I mean, of course I would take you now. We talking but about? Oh, we talking that, about back? That, that, that took a minute to get there. He's talking about back in the day, Erica. Yeah. What was back in the day, Erica, like? You don't know. I mean, I think it all started when I lost my mom. I kind of just checked out, but I know I made a promise to her that I'll graduate college. So that was my main goal, just to go back to school and graduate college. So basketball wasn't the main focus. I just didn't love it as much. I didn't have a real purpose because my mom wasn't here. After I graduate college, life is. You know what I mean? Like, you have to get a job. You have to find somewhere to stay. So at the time, I was living with someone in New Jersey and I was working at True Religion. I was folding jeans. I was working at the drug abuse um, clinic where kids from five to 18 year olds that was doing drugs, which was a humbling situation for me because at the same time, I'm here trying to motivate these kids to not do drugs, but I'm not even following my own dream. So that kind of put a lot of things in perspective for me to kind of say, hey, I can't give these kids advice to say, hey, don't do drugs, go do something that you love when I'm not even doing it for myself. So. For me, it was more so, okay, at some point I need to find my way back to my dream. And losing my mom took a toll on me. It definitely, you know, shaped a lot of things in my life, but that's why I'm where I'm at right now, because now more than ever I do anything and everything for her. I took it personal. I'm like, okay, I know I'm in a position to do something that's super amazing. Let me, let me, let me tap back into it. So one of my friends ended up giving me a call about a job in Puerto Rico. The time I was probably making at between a true religion job and a drug abuse facility, I was probably bringing like between twenty-five to three thousand of my home. But then I got a basketball offer that offered me only two hundred and fifty a week. Now I can't imagine doing that now because I don't know how the hell I budget two hundred and fifty dollars at this at the time. Like it's no way in hell I can budget that right now. Like I can't even imagine doing that. But I did at the time, you know. So, but. That was my way of getting back to what I love. That was the door opener for me to step into, you know, what was my first love. That's all I got. My sisters and my brother, they kind of like my lifeline, like, them, they one of the ones. You got my baby brother, Eric. This is my middle sister, Mia. This is my cousin's sister, Saki. My best friend, Denny. Adopted brother. Adopted <laughs> brother. Mm -hmm. uh, brother. <laughs> and I know that like I'm in a position to do something that my family has never done. It wasn't about the money. I felt like God was telling me, get back to what you love. That's how Adidas do, man. That's how Adidas come, man. We come a little bit. We filmed some stuff that I think the world gonna like. It was super dope. I think Adidas is definitely pushing the women's culture at a high level. 
This is Miami, baby. We swaggy, we fly. When it comes to basketball, we stylish. We want to entertain, so I think that's our culture. When it comes to Miami culture, we want to entertain. Hold on, wait. Can I wait, get this brother, chicken, though? Five minutes to an hour. Yeah, both. We got chicken? Rock style, lifestyle, might not make. Right, guys, here we go. Hey, hold on, wait. The chicken done came. Let me see. I need like five minutes. Like five. Yeah, that's it! You should have seen how they was looking. They about to hop out and come for the chicken. Hey, come on, pop that over. Come on. Meet her, meet her, meet her, meet her. Come on, man. Ooh. Hold on, what are they? Let me back up. I don't know. Well, why they brought us all drumsticks like that? I don't know. I hope they were flats in here. Look at you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Give me a second. Oh, we gotta get the chicken tender. Come on. I'm gonna get my dish. I'll definitely say Miami have a different type of swag, a different type of aura that you just can't repeat. When you see me, you know I'm from Miami because we do nothing like plain. People ask me where I get my style from. My mom was one of the best dressed. Man, my mom was fly. But my mom was more so like a best friend. Being able to have that openness with my mom and everybody loved her. She was super giving, so I just try to imitate that as much as I can because my mom would give the shirt off a back to anybody. So for me, I just try to implement that and just try to go hard at everything I do because that's what she did for me and my sister. Hey man, get some scenes on the court at Jose Mati in Miami. You know how it is. They want to rap with the greatest. Nah, don't hide with Mel. Man, it's all love when we with Adidas. What are some things that represent your mom without giving too much away? I mean, Miami, you know, um, just not giving up um, my family of, you know, my sisters. Just because I know that, you know, that's all I got. My sisters and my brother, they kind of like my lifeline, like, them, they one of the ones, you know what I mean? So just being able to, um, for her to just represent that, like that her legacy is, is gonna keep going through us and I'm not gonna shortchange it. It's gonna, it's gonna get done the right way. We gonna do it, we gonna do it. You know what I mean? It's gonna be loud and they gonna know that this shoe is for Erica with his mom. My mom always told me that I was gonna be something, but I didn't know it was gonna be this big. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't, we ain't see this coming. So to come back here and do certain things, it'd be just, I just always just shake my head like, damn, like, here we go again.